Ring doorbell. So Ring just came out with a dash cam. As soon as it came out at CES, I reviewed the specifications. They released a very limited spec on the camera. So far what I, from what I've seen uh, on the spec and Amazon reviews, it's really very mixed. I don't think it's a great camera. It's currently only a 1080 in the front and a 720 in the back. I would suggest make sure, making sure if you're getting a dash cam that you have a 4K front and back, left and right. That way you're getting everything. So it's kind of very disappointing that they came out with such a low spec camera. It does look like it's very easy to mount, although it doesn't fit all cars. With my experience with 1080 cameras, uh, I just think generally they're not good enough to get uh, license plates, which is obviously in a hit and run or any situation like that, you really want a person's license plate. The key number that you're looking for for dash cams is the bit rate. I could not find a published bit rate for the ring cam. Also the back cam for the ring cam, for the ring dash cam is just pointing into the cabin. I'm sure people have a need for this, but really I don't care what's going on in my car. I need to know what's going on around my car. So not having a real back camera um, is kind of useless to me as well. Hopefully Ring will act quickly and come out with a version two of their camera. Um, I'll try to get my hands on one and test it and compare it to the road cams that I have in my car right now. But based on the reviews I've seen, I'm not super excited to get my hands on one, um, but hopefully they'll come out with a killer version two that's 8K and records 360 around your car, which is what you really actually need. Happy hunting and report what you see on Citizen PD.